Hi, I'm Victoria Fedden. My book, This Is Not My Beautiful Life, comes out on June 7th, and I hope that you'll read it. Right now, I am sitting on the ground. I am at Coleman Federal Prison, and I just visited my mom for Mother's Day. I know a lot of people don't have to visit their moms in prison for Mother's Day, but there are actually a lot of people who do. The place was pretty crowded today. And visiting your mom in prison, you would think is never fun, but actually, I had a really good time. I kind of enjoy it here. It's not that bad. As you can see behind me there, there aren't any barbed wire fences. It's not too scary. It's hard to see your mom in a, in a green army suit and boots when you're used to seeing her in leopard print bedazzled sweatshirts and pants and scrunchies in her hair, but it's okay. It's a welcome change. We're all right. One thing I really like about visiting my mom in prison is that I get to eat a lot of junk food. It's like my big excuse to eat garbage. So I'm always one for eating garbage. In my normal life, I try to eat healthy for the most part. I don't always succeed, but I do try. But here, we eat at vending machines. The visiting area, it's not like you see on TV. It's like a big room and there's tables because this is low security, so it's not really too scary. And they have these vending machines and you can bring Sorry, you can bring bags of money for the vending machine. So we always have vending machine feasts here and it's become kind of a fun thing. My favorite thing to eat at the vending machines is ramen noodles. I love ramen noodles. They are my absolute favorite. And I like to get these cup of noodles and then you get a bottle of water and you make the ramen noodles with them and they taste like salt and yellow and delicious. And I ended up having a really good time with my mom. She's doing really well. When I first found out that my mom was gonna have to go to prison, I thought it was gonna be the worst thing in the whole world. That I was gonna lose my mom and it was gonna be terrible and that she was gonna suffer and I was really scared for her. But she's really made the best of a bad situation by being here and she's really found the positive and she's been a huge example for me because of that. She went to beauty school and she learned how to cut hair and she goes to Toastmasters and she has lots and lots of friends and she takes care of all the women here and it's been really, really inspiring the way that I've seen her do that. And she's made a lot of really positive changes in her life that have inspired me to always see the silver lining and everything too. So that really hasn't been all that bad. I've really seen her grow as a person and I have too.